word I've been with you, O oh Lord. You are the one I want to speak. You are the one your people want to listen to. Manifest yourself speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of your people's heart be acceptable in your sight. At the restoration of the righteous, Amen. let's be able to reign with you. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for prayer and sign. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Fire, fire, let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Peter, the Bible says it. Hey, find your Bible. Hello, see Bible is so beautiful. I thought I mean our salvation might have given our special guest. Raise it up. The Bible says, hey, hello, see, the Bible is so beautiful, it's pretty. Be proud of you. Flaunt it. If you've got it, you've got it. You've got to flaunt it. The Bible says, hey, yes, the Bible says, hey, you believe it, and that settles it. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, chapter number 91, in that last fast, that with long life is going to satisfy you and that it will show you his salvation. You believe him and that settles it. The Bible says in the book of John, chapter number 10, verse number 10, that the thief have come but to kill and destroy and to maim, but the Lord Jesus Christ have come to give you life and give you in abundance. You believe me, and that settles it. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 3, verse number 20, to him alone that can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ever ask for thing, according to the power that is working in you. Oh, you believe that. That settles everything. All the good promises in the Bible is for we children of God. You believe it, it settles everything. All the opposites, it's, a, it's on your enemies. You believe it, and that settles it. That is the literal meaning of what you are, what we are saying. That the Bible says it, we believe it, and that settles everything. Today is in my spiritual being to speak to you amazing people about rekindling your dream. It's worth it. Rekindling your dream, it's worth it. Excuse me, a lot of us, when we were younger, even at this age, we have certain things in our heart. We have the greatness that we want to attain. We want with a lot of things that we want from our Creator. We think about it. We pray about it. We meditate about it. But after some time, the devil wants to kill the fire. He wants us to get away from that dream. I've come here to tell you today, rekindle that dream. Excuse me, it's worth it. You know, one day of victory. One, one day of victory. It's worth 100 years of prayer. And that is why you will not let that dream die in your heart. It's only you that can rekindle the fire. Nobody can do it except you. You want to become a caterer. You want to further your education. You want to start a new business. You want to go for that conference. You are looking unto the Lord for the fruit of the womb, a husband of your choice, the wife of your choice. You want to attain greatness. Rekindle that fire. Don't let that fire die. I'm guaranteeing you it's what is. Let me give you the example of my life. I am a dreamer of great, great dreams. My husband knows me. My parents of, of blessed memory, my family, they, are, they know me. From childhood, I don't take small, small things. I believe I serve a great, great God. A lot of people, they will say it's not possible. All the time I rekindle the fire. 
All the time I rekindle my dream. And each and every time, the Lord always proves himself as almighty and all powerful. Is there a dream in your heart? Is there something great you want to attain? Nobody can stop you from attaining you except you. No wishes and wizards have power over your dream. Until when you allow the devil to stop you, nobody can stop you. I am a human being like that. I don't have the belief that anybody has got power over Jesus Christ. I don't believe that any power either in heaven or on earth can conquer Jesus Christ. That is my belief. Nobody can change it. And that is what I want you to have at the back of your mind. Nobody can stop you until when you stop. If I start to run here now, until when I stop, no matter how dynamic that person is, I won't stop. I will be running. And that is it about your dream. That dream what with kindly. Let it come afresh in your heart. Let it make you happy. Let me tell you. When the foundation of this place started, the dream I was having is the day the church will be open. Mammoth people that will come. Great men of God that will be here. Great women of God that will be here. Important personality that will be here. That was my dream. I didn't stop. Everything wanted to stop that dream. Continually, I rekindled the dream. All the time, I rekindled it. And here we are today. It's not by power nor by mind. According to that book of Zechariah, chapter number four, verse number six, for by my spirit says the Lord. I want us to read Philippians chapter number four, verse number 13. Philippians. I can do all things through Christ which sent me. I can do all things through Christ that sent it me. Excuse me, my people in the Lord. You can do all things. Christ is always ready to give you the power. The enablement is with your creator. That dream is too great. Don't let that dream die. Rekindle the fire. Rekindle it. Always see the end of it. You are a student. When you are reading, by the time you are reading, the picture that should be at the back of your mind is when you wear that academic gown. When you hear your ceremonial graduating gown, once you have that dream at the back of your mind, it gives you energy to read more. It gives you the energy to continue. You started a building. You are building it. Just have the dream. Go into a great, great dream. The day you are opening it, how your friends will gather, how they will be praising God concerning it, that will rekindle that dream. That dream will not die. That business you are about to find, just dream greater. Don't let it die. That, okay, I will start to travel. I will go to Turkey. I will buy some garments. I will buy some clothing. I will buy some trimmings. I will display it in my shop. Each and every time. Rekindle that fire. Rekindle it. All the time and every time. You are into furnishing business. Start, start to dream that the quarters in Abuja, oh, the, the minister quarters, and then you are doing the cutting, you are doing the cupboard, you are delivering to them. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. You want to become a nurse? Your dream is to become a doctor? Keep dreaming. Always enter the labor room. Maybe you want to be a specialist as a gynecologist. Then 
start to dream. You are in your, in your hospital. The one you build starts to see those equipment. How the Lord is going to do it? Leave it with your creator. Start to dream again. Rekindle that dream. Don't let that dream die. You know you are going to be pregnant. As you are looking onto the Lord for that fruit of the womb, begin to name those children. Begin to buy clothing for both male and female. And then begin to call their names. In your kitchen, send them an errand. You are the king in the fire of your dream. Don't let that dream die. You want to write a book? Or you wrote one? You are still looking for a publisher. Rekindle the fire concerning that dream. Place your publisher in your front. Place, place that book in your front. Okay, you have thousand copies now. And then the thousand copies are sold out. Start to talk to your printer. Give me five thousand more. Rekindle the dream. Rekindle the fire. Let it come alive. Nobody can bury that dream except you. From that sickness, you have gotten your healing. Because according to the book of Isaiah, chapter number 53, verse number 5, by Israel, you are healed. Then you look at that wound, and then you cover it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Say it is healed. You rekindle the fire. How you will be walking with your legs again. Rekindle that fire. Don't let it die. Are you watching us on the social media? That fire. Nobody can put it off except you. Rekindle it. Excuse me, it will watch it. Anytime you remember that dream, smile to yourself. Excuse me, anytime I remember the greatest place that the Lord is taking me, I smile concerning my dream. You know, we're going to get to our own land, about 300 hectares, and then we do some bungalow, we do some upstairs, we have tied the whole road. We are naming it after ourselves. We are naming it after our youth. And then a lot of people are inside the place. Now they are celebrating Jesus. And then we have gone for retreats. Then the retreat, now we are inside the retreat place. And then we are praising God and Him. Nobody can kill the dream. Until when you allow somebody to kill it. I don't believe anybody can kill my dream. Because I'm the child of the most high God. I know Christ lives in me. And I know I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that is why I always want us to say it after me. Each and every worship that you are the child of the most high God. That Christ lives in you. And that you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. So when you are covered by his blood... Nobody can kill your dream. Yes, you made mistake when you went to school. And you got pregnant. And then you have a child. It does not stop you from being a graduate. Rekindle that dream. Rekindle the dream. Go back to your dream. You can attain everything. You can do all things. The book of Philippians chapter number 4. Verse number 13. True Christ that strengthened you. It's never late to go back to school. You think it's your dream to become a graduate? I know people that become one at the age of 70. I met some people at the Bible school at the age of 80. And we all graduated together. Rekindle that dream. Go back on that dream. It will watch it. By the time you have your victory, by the time that dream comes to reality, I'm telling you, the thanksgiving will watch all the pain. It, it will watch all the pain. Keep, keep, keep dreaming.
Don't let anybody kill that dream. Let me tell you, when you have great, great dreams, there are always great, great enemies. Don't look at the giant problem. Look at your God that is so mighty. Look at your God that is so capable. Any time and every time, commit the dream to his hand. That is why in that book of Proverbs, chapter number three, verse number nine, is, is very important. Committing all your first fruits, everything about that dream, commit it into the hands of the Lord. Continue to dream. Dream and dream again. The, 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 the current president of America, he has tried, Biden has tried several times. He has tried several times. He has gone into several tragedies. But still, because he kept rekindling the dream, the dream has come to reality. I've met with a lot of people, a lot of preachers in this world, that they've gone through lots and lots of tribulations. Dr. Mike Mudok of Wisdom Center, he said in a conference that I went to, he said in a year sometimes when he was young, it was about 600 worms. Uh, uh, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. 600 was taken from his body. But he rekindled the dream. He refired the dream. He went to the Bible school. He went to other robots. Several times they sent him out of school because his parents could not pay. But he recalled the time and every time. He always rekindled the dream. What is the dream in your heart? Will you dare to dream again? Dream and dream again. Dream great, great dreams. Because you serve a great, great God. Your God is more than able. But you are not going to fold your hand. You are going to start action with your dreams. As you are doing this, your creator is, is crowning it. Because he's saying we enlarge your course. So you can rekindle that dream. Don't let that dream die in your heart. You want to learn how to so? You can start at any age. You think you've got passion for it? You can start anytime. You have passion for children? In as long as you have a room. Anytime your friends that have got kids, when they are going to parties, you start to be touching them like one one thousand five five hundred. Little by little, that course will be enlarged. Rekindle that that dream. Rekindle it. It will worth it. You have passion for exercise. You know you can become a personal trainer. It's one of the cheapest things you can have. And then the kind of food, the portion of food. If you have if you have smartphone, you can become a teacher on anything now. Rekindle that dream. Don't let that dream die. You love sewing. Why do you like sewing? Start to write a book. It can be 10 pages. It doesn't matter. And the good thing now, even if you don't have a publisher, you can go on, on social media. You start to put it there. You say they should pay and follow you. They will pay, they will follow. You love to bake, put it there. You don't have to own a shop now. Before you start to deliver goods. Why did you like for a carpentry work? Why do you like to be a nurse? Start to write it. Write something. In this your life, make sure you write one book. At least one book. Rekindle that fire. Don't let that dream die. That dream is too sweet. You know, each time you remember it, eh? anything that you remember and gives you joy, that is what you have passion for. I don't have passion for any other thing. In my life, number one thing is to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I love doing that. It gives me joy. Otherwise, when wealth came, 
I can use this to build flats and then rent it out. But I don't have passion for that. Whatever thing you have passion for, that is your dream. Don't let that dream die. Don't let the dream die. Kinduli. How to kinduli is to make sure when you remember it, you want to pray to any light about it. You are happy about it. I've told you this before. The first business that Bill Gates founded, Trafford Datas, the business was doing so poorly that nobody wanted to buy the business when he wanted to sell it. But because he did not allow the dream to die, because he continued to kindle his dream, Microsoft was discovered. And he's, he's, well, Bill Gates is one of the richest persons that have passed planet of her. Oprah Winfrey, when she was younger, everybody wants to sleep with Oprah Winfrey. Everybody wants to molest Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey did not let her dream die. She rekindled the dream. Oprah Winfrey, one of the richest black persons that have passed planet of her. Joyce Mayers is, I think she's number seventh richest preacher now. It's the richest, so no Roger. She, she, the, he, her father, all the time molesting her. Her father sleeping with her. But she did not let her dream die. She rekindled her dream. She rekindled it. And up, here today, Joyce Mayers, one of the richest preachers, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you don't know all those people, you have met with me. In this my lifetime, I've been homeless before in the United Kingdom. My husband sick on an hospital bed at North Middle Sex Hospital. His blood was not going into the face. I have a dream in my heart. My dream in my heart then was to hold a cathedral in England. Everybody left me. Everybody wanted to kill the dream. Out of 268 worshippers, it remained just only one person. And I was still walking in front of that cathedral. Will you dream again? Will you rekindle the dream? Don't let that dream die. The dream is too beautiful in your heart. It's too huge in your heart. Don't let anybody talk you out of it. Continue to strive forward. The more you strive forward, the more your creator will crown your effort. Remember Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 13. You can do all things through Christ we sent it to you. Have you learned something today? Present our days, we just thank you. Sana Rock of Ages, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you. We say there is none like you. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We know for sure we can do all things through you, Jesus Christ, that strengthens us. Amen. We want you to rekindle our dreams so that it will what it will come back and praise you. Do so in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Those dreams, wake them up in our hearts again. Amen. The way forward, the way to